Hi guys and welcome to the first Digital Illusions video tutorial um, which will be uploaded on YouTube and possibly some other websites if I ever get the time or if I can ever be bothered. Okay so yeah that's just spoiling everything for us. Okay what I'm going to show you is um, a program um, and this is called J Downloader and what it essentially does is if I give you a good example, go on to something like this, on to, yes, this is advertising, guys, Xbox 360 ISA. Okay, it decides to pop up. What this program essentially does is it downloads everything for you, which you might say, mm, okay, nice, I want to give you a good example. Okay, let's say uh, if you work with Juarez or anything like this is a good example. Okay, if you have like hundreds of links like this, what you need to do when you've j downloaded J Downloader is just click on copy and look, that is 79 links to Link Grabber. And then what it'll essentially do, find the host, which is Mega Upload, which I really do prefer and it will find the status of or status depending where you're from of the actual file to see if it's actually still there and it says online so all the files are there now the brilliant thing about this program is as soon as I click which I won't do because I don't want that game is when I click to download which will be that button all these will start to download one by one and it fills in the capture for you and anyone who uses anything like Mega Upload knows what a capture is. It's where you have to type in four letters or digits of any sort and to tell if you're a robot or not, which in this case it's failing really badly. And it's not just that, it downloads at high speeds. Ignore that, that is a bad speed. Um, <laughs> bad example, but you know, we'll have to live with it. It'll then download them one by one for you automatically without you having to touch anything. Downloads them extremely fastly and that's about it really. I guess oh and it avoids download waiting times, which any of you who use rapid share know the meaning of. It is a horrible thing, but this avoids it, so it's a great program. So to find it you just need to go on Google and just type J Downloader. It's the very first link click download, oh sorry yeah. and depending on your operating system you'll click on it and I advise you do some f download from RapidShare depending where you're from and as soon as you've finished that you get it on here so you extract it to your desktop which I already have and then you'll run this icon here, the J Downloader icon which is the install icon and as soon as you follow the few steps, I won't do it because I already have it up and it's downloading something for me as soon as you've done that, it'll come up blah blah blah, it's done and then you'll bring, you'll get this on your desktop just what I've been on and it'll, you'll get um, an icon saying download and this is where it puts all of your downloads that you'll use it for um, and like I said the great thing about this it's like a geek thing right here is it extracts it for you and I just love that because I like I tend to leave my computer at night so this thing will download it for me in the night when I'm asleep and it'll extract it for me so when I wake up the ISO file for my game or whatever I've got will be right here and then I can just do what I want with it. It's a great application, it's free. Um, no signing up required. All it asks is for you to um, click on the few um, pointers to say like where do you want the installer directory and things like that and then you've done. And I've managed to download I'm not um, 7.6 gigabytes with this on a mega upload in 60 files 
in around five hours. So it's very good, and yeah, that's all of it. So thanks, guys, for watching.